Hi, I'm Steph Twell. I'm a past strength and conditioning graduate here at St Mary's. I'm currently the European bronze medalist over the 5,000 metres and I am a soon-to-be 2016 Olympian. <laughs> So my earliest memory had to be watching the cameras turn on to Kathy Freeman in the Sydney Games on the start line and just even through the television just watching the whole stadium fall silent and that awe around her was just amazing. Um, and I think from a British perspective it was watching Kelly Holmes in the 800 and 1500 getting the golds in Athens um, and just coming from the back of the field and just floating past everyone was pretty inspirational. Oh, well, my dad has always been very athletic. He's been in the army. So I always saw my family out, you know, riding bikes, walking the dog, or my dad coming back from a sweaty run. Um, but I was also quite fortunate that I lived really close to Aldershot Farnham and District Athletic Club. And it's from there, really, that I've kind of never looked back. Um, I joined Mick Woods' great group down there, and I just enjoyed being part of so many other athletes. Oh, St Mary's has been hugely fundamental in my development. Um, I started um, coming to St Mary's at the age of 16, part of the TAS programme, which really kind of opened my eyes to um, a better level of performance from a club, club athletics to now being exposed to lots of multidisciplinary teams here in terms of physiology, physios, um, yeah, nutritionists being available. Um, I then decided to have my degree here and I studied strength and conditioning, which for me was just amazing um, to really promote my athletics at a young age to kind of learn as much as I could whilst I was developing to get onto this world stage um, and I also think very from a very early age um, I had the London Marathon camps here for a week in the summer it was like a summer camp and I came here and I saw how amazing the, the environment was being so close to Richmond Park being so close to Bushy Park and just having influ influential runners like Joe Pavey living locally Mo Farah being local I felt like I was part of a hub of excellence that I'm now wanted to be part of myself. Oh, um, well, it's, it, my build up to Rio is changing constantly because I'm in a last final preparation where I'm racing quite a lot. Um, however, it'll typically be a, a morning run just as a bit of a flush out just to make sure that my legs are feeling mobilised. I typically stretch. Um, but I still go to either St Mary's or my local club at Aldershot to do a session and that will consist of maybe an 800 on the front, a slightly long recovery, some fours split up um, and try to run faster progressively towards the end followed by like five 200s um, just to finish with a lot of pace. So at the moment I'm really trying to tick over and get faster for my races. To be competing in Rio is a testament to my perseverance in the sport and it's all about my passion about why I do it. Um, it's also a testament and a thanks for the support team that have been behind me which includes St Mary's um, and everyone that has really willed me to get to where I am today. I think from a personal point of view I'm going to go into these games a bit more experienced and ready to take on my opposition, um, kind of knowing what to expect um, having been on the Diamond League circuit. Um, but I also feel that Rio itself is going to be a colourful, vibrant, energetic game um, that's going to be superb, for, full of atmosphere and it's going to be a stadium that I know is going to be really electric and carry me along to the finish line. Oh, it's been incredible. We've been a team now for a good four years. Um, we've got to know each other really well in sport but also outside of sport and we really bounce off each other in training, um, in the week just to see how our daily lives are. We're always there for each other. Um, but having someone that you know that you're sharing this experience with on the track, pushing harder in the reps, or whether you're trying to get up for a morning run and one of you feels slightly less tired than the other at six o'clock in the morning um, and gets you out the door. Um, when I was here at the Athlete House at St Mary's, that was hugely phenomenal, but we were both, we're both chasing a dream and I think we're sharing that experience and trying to push ourselves daily to get there and it's just so special to share it with her um, and it's going to be an exciting venture for us both to create more memories. I really enjoyed my time here. Um, being on campus I always had the support of the staff and um, there was always a friendly face around the campus which I think really for me helped me feel like they understood me as a sports person but also as a student. Um, I loved my degree modules that I chose um, particularly 
knowing that there were professionals that were really working with athletes here on campus and I think that gave me the cutting edge inside um, ability to relate to them really well because I saw them acting in this environment as well um, so I loved it um, it was hard work I did the first I was on the first degree for the strength and conditioning um, degree back in 2007 um, however the staff here are just wonderful it was fairly easy actually having such a nice environment here at St Mary's I had the track on my doorstep um, I could go for my runs in Richmond and Bushy Park so it was a balance at times to reshuffle sessions and reshuffle lectures, but I managed not to split my year. I did a straight um, forward um, major um, throughout my whole degree, and I think that I managed it pretty well. So, yeah, it was definitely a very supportive environment to be part of. Yeah, I'm ecstatic, I'm delighted, and I'm feeling ready.